Hi, today I'm going to show you how to move the rigger position on a Nordic Explorer double from a forward double position to a centre location to allow you to row it as a single. The riggers are held in with four screw machine screws. So we've got two inner ones at an angle which screw into a, a, a captive plate within the moulding and then we have two outer machine screws with bolts on the outside which we, we can undo and remove from the outside. So I'm going to need an 8mm socket and a ratchet driver and a T-bar Allen key. This is a great tool because it makes life a lot easier to try to use an Allen key. So we've got the socket heads on the machine screws. I'm going to come under, locate the nut And then I'm just using the ratchet to undo the nut and remove it. Just be slightly careful because there is a large washer underneath which you don't want to drop and remove. There we go, there she goes. So there we have nut and a washer. And the machine screw. So that's the two outer ones done. We don't need the ratchet for the inner one because it's a captive. You'll also note that the, sh the rigger arms are actually over the machine screws. So it's quite difficult. And actually when they're in this position, you can't remove, fully remove the machine screws. So what we have to do is start to release each one in turn and gently lift the bracket away as we release the screws. So you'll see what I mean as I go here. So that's about as far as we can release on that one. Move to the forward one. I'm unscrewing and then I'm gently, you can see I'm lifting up the bracket. So one hand I'm lifting it up. As I remove, I'm doing a little bit on each side just so the alignment doesn't jam up as you remove, as you twist it from side to side. Yeah, I think we're almost clear on that one. Almost clear on the forward one as well. Okay, there we are. So you can see machine screw in there. If you want to remove that and you can disassemble and at this stage you can replace the dowel and pin if there's any movement in there. Um, generally, once we're rigged up, these are pretty strong and they've, they've lasted for years, uh, but we can replace the pins through the centre. So if we move to the aft, what we can see is the four holes here, and what we do is we leave little grub screws, plastic grub screws, in the inner hole. The outer hole goes all the way through outside the boat, but the inner hole, as I was saying, has a captive plate, and it's a good idea just to protect the screw thread while you're not using it with these little I have to put that down. I can just unscrew these by hand. It stops any mud, water or grime or dirt getting into the screw thread so that when we are changing position of the riggers um, it's very easy to put the screws in and out. There we go, that's all they are. What I'll do is I'm going to put them straight back into the forward one where I've moved the rigger from. So we're protecting the screw thread in there. grab my T-bar and I'm just going to align these screws up with the inner holes there. Just gently start the thread off not too far just so it locates. There we go. And again the fitting is just a reverse of taking out. We do a little bit each side as we go. Before I get too tight, I'm actually going to put the outer, just locate the outer bolt. So if I come up here, grab the outer bolts. 
while it's still loose, it's easy to locate those outer bolts. Like so. I'm just going to tighten these up. You don't need to put much tension on these, just a, a firm grip is enough. You can always check them, if you're doing a long row, you can check them before you go out rowing. If you're not doing too much rowing, then just occasionally check that everything's still secure. So that's the inner one is done up now. I'm going to drop that bar and it's going to sit straight onto my stud in there, like so. Don't forget, we've still got to put the nuts on the outside. So we've got a nut and a washer. Washer going on first. Having my T-bar. Just caught the nut. Okay, just in line. Maybe a little tricky because you're upside down. There we go. That's it, just catching. That's caught, taking a little ratchet, topping the end over to tighten up. Then I'm holding the machine screw square without rotating it and just using the ratchet to gently tighten that. And you can hear it, the note changes. Again, not, don't over tighten, it's not necessary. Just a firm grip. Towards back, and that's the rig removed.